Hello again, Michael Freeberg here from beautiful North Carolina, and today I have a single new product for review. It is the shaving cream from Baum, Baum.be, a Belgian, Belgian company, and Schercreme from Belgium. Who would have ever thought? But before we talk about the shaving cream, let me just come back and just tell you about the range of leather goods. I promised you just a quick recap after having traveled with them. The, uh, the DOP kit is fantastic. It's, it's big. It opens easily. I was able to pack everything in there that I needed without any issues with regards to space. The zipper is nice and smooth. Uh, the handle makes it quite easy to carry. Um, I also used the little accessory pouch that I showed you last time. And here is the, uh, the razor cap or the razor head cap in use. The original version of this was simply too small to fit on many razor heads, so um, it was fixed, um, increased in size before the release over Kickstarter. This fits on the Fatip Destina Gentile, which as you can see has a rather pronounced head shape. It fits into this quite easily. You just slide it in, it closes quite cleanly around the handle. Obviously you would do this without the blade in it, which is the case now. Uh, this leather cap worked out really well. I'm very, uh, very pleased with the with the products overall. Let me go ahead and assemble the razor while we while we get going here. Today's blade is going to be a Wilkinson sword on its third use. Let me just assemble the razor. Base plate, and then I'm using these small plastic washers. There we go. If you are wondering about the state of the gunmetal finish, it continues to, uh, well, not stay on the razor. <laughs> but you know, it adds sort of a, a beautiful patina, a, you know, a change over time. In fact, I kind of think I like this non-finished uh, finished option better, but um, overall the razor is, as I've said in past shaves, I really, really like that razor. And in fact, I'm continually surprised I don't see it more often in use. Um, all right, so with that, let me just wet my face again and start applying the shaving cream. I only have a sample this. I don't have a full-size container. Sample was passed on to me by a uh, wonderful YouTube viewer, um, and you know who you are. I th wasn't quite sure how much I would need for each time. I was, I was a little bit chingy the first time. The second time I used quite a bit. There's still a lot left in that sample container, so I'm going to just, as I have previously, scooped it out. It has, like a lot of these shaving creams, a, uh, a slightly pearlescent aspect to it. And what I do is I just apply it, put on a relatively thick layer. There's really no reason not to use enough. If I need more, I'll just apply more from the container. There we go. That should be plenty. The cream is yellow because I believe it contains beta carotene. It has carrot oil in it. It has sativa root extract, I believe, coconut oil. Um, it is designed to be used by men with sensitive sensitive skin. Uh, the owner, uh, the owner of the company, um, suffers from sensitive skin or suffers has sensitive skin, and so decided to start making his own shaving products. I believe after his favorite aftershave balm was no longer being produced or not no longer available, so he now has a full line. I think of balms shaving creams, a pre-shave, I believe. All right, today's brush is the Rod Neep. Uh, this is another olive wood hourglass shape with the miniature bore. Let me just wet that through a little bit and get going. I do like the color on the shaving cream. Quite adds a nice, unique touch to it. I believe that this is on the on the higher end in terms of cost. I think this retails for 24 euro or 24 dollars, something like that, for a standard size container. I think the name is is Baum. I don't know if you say Baum dot B E or dot Bay. I think that's just a nod to the for the domain suffix B E, which is used for companies located in Belgium. That is, by the way, one of the risks you run if you have a name for your company that is not obvious to pronounce or exactly how it's constructed, people are going to struggle with how to say it. So, just one of the risks you run.
All right, I want to add a little bit of water to that. I also want to give a quick shout out, by the way, to Libby. You know who you are. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm glad that you had a chance to learn something new. And as you can see, it might be haircut time soon again. All right, that is looking pretty good. Soap definitely lathers easily. The scent, scent is an interesting one. It has what I would describe as a lightly floral perfume note. That, that's for me the primary scent. Underneath that, there is a bit of a woodsy scent, but also a little bit of a vegetal scent. Smells good. It definitely is on the, at least to my nose, on more on the perfumey floral side than, uh, than anything else. All right, rinse my hands and let's get shaven. Yeah, I, I used this razor while I was traveling off to my son's graduation and during that I was using the uh, Abati La Mantia, the Laureato uh, soap, which is just a fun play on words because it also means uh, to graduate. So that was just a good, uh, a good use. All right. No idea what to expect from this cream, by the way. I did. I did no sort of, you know, pre-research before I used it. Definitely like to form my own opinions before I start reading up on what others have experienced. And very pleasantly surprised. Very easy to lather. Very, very slick, very easy to use when shaving. As always, it's just over two days worth of growth. And a very interesting question on YouTube. Person who asked me about Letting my, letting my beard grow for more than just a couple of days to really give the, uh, the razor a workout, kind of sort of really make it work for it. And I definitely understand the, the, uh, the intent behind that question. But for me to do that, I would have to then not shave during the week. And I normally shave every day for work. So going for a week unshaven, that's just not going to happen. If I were to show up at work unshaven for two or three days, I would be mocked mercilessly by my colleagues, many of whom I mock mercilessly because they often only shave once a week. And so by the end of the week, they kind of look like homeless hobos. All right, I'm going to just drip a little bit of water on the tips of the brush, which I've just learned today from Paul H is posh. Who knew? I don't know if I'll need to use more cream for the third pass. I don't think so. There we go. I'm going to add just a touch of water. This does very well when wet. Very nice and slick. Scent strength on the soap remains remains quite, uh, quite apparent throughout the shave. All right, pass number two. This will be across the grain. Yeah, I have to say, this razor is way up there for me. People keep asking if I'll do a top five or a top three or end of the year, you know, top razors and soaps and so on. But if I had to choose right now, this would be absolutely in that, in that top five. I like the weight, 
I like the design. Offers an excellent shave. Solid brass. Yes, I know the, the finish. Yeah, very impressed with this soap. I really knew nothing about it. It's kind of an interesting story for how the how the owner of this uh, of this business has decided to go through it. Just rinsing my hand a little bit there. A very uh, a very nice blog on the website as well. So far, easy, smooth shave. Yeah, when you're rinsing it, it doesn't feel, doesn't have that kind of uh, really shocking slickness, but let me just again, drip a little bit of water on the brush. I may need to add a little bit more cream. I am going to because I have plenty. I'm just scooping out just a touch. I'm just gonna smear that onto the tips of the brush. I really don't need to use too much. There we go. Just something like that. Again, a dribble of water. This brush has got really nice backbone. Good, good degree of stiffness, but as you can see, it also splays very nicely. It's broken in. Uh, just, just keeps getting better and better. There we go. Hmm. Wow, that you can just feel when you're lathering. It just fed really uh, excellent degree of slickness. Yeah, as I've said many times before, you don't need a big thick layer of lather. You need a slick layer of lather. There we go. Last pass, which will be obviously against the grain. Nice light touch here. This razor also has basically no overhang to speak of, which I think is the way to go. I have noticed that for some reason, maybe this is just age and the hair changing, but the hair around and just under my chin is becoming even coarser.
Soap is very good for buffing. If you like to buff in this final pass, like I do, great option. There we go. This time of year, by the way, if you do live in the Carolinas, you are likely having, if you have any sensitivity to the, uh, to the pollen, you're probably experiencing the same thing I am, which is skin is a little inflamed all the time, a little bit hot sometimes, a little thin is what it feels like, but overall not bad, no. Yeah, right there, this is just, a little bit of a touch up. Yeah, I've noticed in the last couple weeks that uh, those hairs under my chin definitely maybe require another little. There we go. Normally, no issue with the touch-up, but as I was just saying, in this time of year, particularly, I just gotta watch it a little bit. Skin is just a little more fragile than it should be. All right, let me rinse off as best I can. Soap rinse is pretty clean, but certainly not immediate, and you can definitely feel a layer there. That's in part because, of course, I added more soap to that last pass, but. There we go. One more. No. Skin conditioning, post shave. It's pretty good. Skin doesn't feel dry. Doesn't feel overly tight. There's a little layer of slickness still there. Well, let's see how we did. Wow. Yeah, that, uh, that's a great combo. Wilkinson Sword Blade in the Fat Tip Testina Gentile works out very well. Okay, let me apply some aftershave and then we'll do a very quick, very quick recap. Today we're going to be going back to the Mirasol, the blue delightfully cooling in these hotter days. I have quite a bit still, so I have been applying it with what some might describe as a bit of wild abandon. Slight tingle. That's high alcohol content and menthol, so that's to be expected. But almost instantly dissipates. All right a touch more. As they say, why not? There we go. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, that was another, another fantastic shave. There's just so many excellent products out there and if, if you're struggling with the products you're using, then you should move on to something else because there is really no reason to struggle with either a razor or a blade or soap or brush that just isn't working for you. You have so many excellent, excellent options. Let's take this one from the top again, shall we? The Scherkeim uit België 
Belgische scheercreme from Baum, Baum.be. Uh, yellowish, beta carotene, carrot oil. I think it was sativus root oils. I think coconut based. Um, quite surprising, actually. I knew nothing about this soap, as I said at the beginning of the video. And performance has been really very, very good. Wonderfully slick, easy to lather. The scent is a little floral and perfumey. These that for me is the predominant note. There is an undertone there of uh, some uh, bit of a woodsy scent and a slight hint of a bit of a vegetal um, mid note for me. Not unpleasant at all. In fact, quite a nice, quite a nice scent. Um, if you want a bit of a floral perfumey scent, then that is absolutely going to be uh, something you should look into. Today's razor, which I just enjoy so much every time I use it, the Fatip Testina Gentile. It almost makes me wonder if it's worth going for the uh, the piccolo or grande, but I just imagine those are overly aggressive maybe, but we'll see. Maybe I'll pick one of those up and we'll just see how it goes. This is just such an easy, easy performer for me. I don't care about the, uh, the finish coming off at all anymore. I just love the way this razor looks and I especially love the way that it performs. It is easy, smooth. It works with a variety of blades. It feels good in the hand. It's heavy. I have no issue with handle being slippery. Um, I just wish I would see more people using this razor. I think it's a great, great option. Today's brush, another custom rod neep, which is this mini bore in this fantastic olive wood hourglass. Just another wonderful, wonderful brush. Tremendous backbone, as you could see, it does actually splay when you just give it a little bit of a push and just hold it. And especially after you've soaked it, it softens up and opens up very nicely. And to close it all off, let me just make sure I put on the cool retro cap. There we go. That is the Mirsol, the blue, which is cooling, mentholated, smells great. Love that stuff. Well, that's it. We're done. Uh, I'm going to say thank you once again so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the, uh, the product reviews. As always, please leave a comment or question against the video. I try to get back to those as quickly as I can. And until next time, goodbye.